beautiful morning in the stunning Adirondack Mountains and we're ready for race weather. Yes, uh, looks like a beautiful day here in Lake Placid down at Mirror Lake there you're seeing on, on screen. So our Wahoo time 6.16.30. We're going to get our four hours out on that Vegas swim. 6.25 for the men, 6.27 for the ladies. And our guys at this close field is stacked. They are psyched. And we are so excited for you guys. Make some noise that crowd. How are you guys feeling? Uh, swim went pretty well, like I was with Matt Hansen, which was where I was hoping to be. It would have been good if Cody and Ben were with us, but they had uh, better swims uh, and obviously put a couple of minutes into uh, into us. But out on the bike, felt really good, like legs felt great. Power was uh, really decent. It felt like I was pretty aero, like I was going quite well. So uh, ended up dropping the people I was with and uh, riding across to the group. Caught them at about 60k. I wanted to kind of get a feel for how they were riding and make a, when I went, make a decisive move and not end up towing everyone around. Um, and I managed to get away about probably around about the halfway kind of uh, point when we went around this town and it was quite technical, like going out the corners, like putting a bit of a sprint in. And that was kind of what really broke it. I mean, we put an effort in from around 75K, but it took a good 15 kilometers of like hard riding before we ended up making some separation. Got away with Josh Hamburger and then we ended up just working together and um, yeah, working pretty solid, but like not flat out, but just like a nice pace, but sharing the workload, just trying to ride smooth, but put as much time into the others as we could. And then out on the run, I knew I had about three minutes on um, Ben starting, about a minute on Josh. Um, ben was like, I was a bit worried about him, but I thought that I would put time into him at the start. So I started off okay. So when I got to five and a half miles, and I saw he was a minute 45, minute 50 behind. Like, this is going to be really tough. Like, the way he's running, if he carries that speed up and I carried the speed on I was going, he would have caught me at about 30k, 35k. So I knew it was going to be tough. And then got to about halfway or 12 miles, saw I had a minute 40 at that point, and then thought, this is the make or break decision. Like, you know, I need to put a hard four or five miles in and if try and get the gap to over two minutes at the far turn. 
I knew that was in my head. That was the benchmark. If I can't get over two minutes, it's going to come down to the wire. If I can get over two minutes, mentally it might break him a bit because it, he would have lost a bit of time then. Managed to get two minutes 20, but I was really suffering after that. A bit grim, but yeah, over the moon to get the win. Like I, want, I was beginning to wonder, will I ever see the top step of the podium again after how the season's gone? So I'm definitely going to celebrate this one and uh, make the most of it. Yeah, I mean, I... I had a pretty solid swim, which was a good start to the day. I, I came, you know, I started on the far left, got on Josh's feet for a little bit. Um, I wasn't able to hold that because, you know, he's a freak swimmer, but I did uh, I did settle into a good rhythm with a, with a pack behind him. And I think, you know, we came out relatively close. Uh, I felt pretty smooth and comfortable on the bike. Unfortunately, right before the end of the first lap, I had a slow leak in the rear and uh, I had to stop near the special needs and uh, kind of reinflate that and I lost contact with the front group. So it's kind of, in some ways, I feel like the race is like a little bit of a, you know, what might have been had I been able to stay in contact with Josh and Joe uh, for at least a little bit longer. But I rode that whole second lap solo um, and stayed super positive actually, which I was proud of uh, to not like give up the fight. And uh, yeah, and then I started the run and, you know, I. I might have been a little bit aggressive. I don't know what my splits were exactly, but I, I definitely went out hot and I caught Josh pretty quick. And then, yeah, I mean, I was closing on Joe, but I knew he was going to be really, really tough to beat. And uh, I had a similar battle with him back in 2019 in Florida. And, you know, I closed it down there and then he kind of just held it. And the same thing happened here. And I think maybe around 17 or 18 miles, I realized it probably wasn't going to happen actually. And I still fought, but like, yeah, the gap started to open back up and, and Joe just kind of held held strong. So I feel like my preparation wasn't wasn't nearly as good as I wanted, but I got the very best out of myself today and um, I went faster than I've ever gone here. So that's, uh, you know, a good feeling. And yeah, we just had a, a really memorable day. It's, it's awesome to be here with the family and share with everybody. So I'm, I'm super stoked. Didn't manage to swim start well. That was really my only mistake of the day. Uh, just didn't get on, didn't get off the line fast enough and got kind of trapped in the back and had to work quite a bit to get up around that group. And then finally got good feet, had a, had a good rest of the first lap, but managed it all right. Kept on the feet that I wanted to be on and uh, yeah, had a decent transition. I, I don't mind the uh, 600 meter long run uh, in transition that usually suits me quite well. And off to the bike, um, you know, it was nothing special. I just held steady, consistent power all day long. I think I pretty much even split it. Uh, so I was pretty happy with that, uh, especially on this course with that last quarter all uphill. Uh, you know, I knew I had to leave a little bit in the tank for that. So uh, rode well up that the last, the last time through, made up a couple spots on a couple guys that were uh, three or four minutes ahead of me on the last turnaround. So I was happy with that. And then out on the run, I ran blind for the first time ever. I didn't have a watch today for some reason. Um, and uh, so I really have no idea how I paced it. I did. I probably went out a little bit hot, but it's, uh, you know, the first bit is, is pretty steep downhill, so it's easy to get a little carried away there. But um, yeah, I was just trying to give myself a chance to uh, first uh, get a podium, then, you know, see if uh, one of the guys uh, had a misstep up front to, to try to move my way up. The boys up front were strong, so uh, hats off to uh, Joe and Ben uh, showing us how it was done today. But overall, uh, pretty pretty solid day to start the second half of the season. Uh, my day went pretty well. Uh, started the swim right on Rach McBride's feet and stayed there the entire swim. So shout out to Rach. Um, and then the bike I got on and I felt pretty solid. I just kind of decided to ride my own race, uh, keep my power pretty steady. Um, I wanted to make sure I finished the first lap still feeling really strong, just because this is such a hilly hard course. So finished the first lap and felt good and was able to give it all in the hills the second lap, keep it going. Started the run and again, just decided to run my own race, uh, could like, feel people kind of breathing down my throat. I felt like the gap was getting smaller, but um, the fans were awesome and kept going. And uh, yeah, again, ran my own race, just stayed really steady. Uh, we had a major downpour 
about an hour in, which felt incredible. Then it got pretty humid, but um, yeah, I'm in a little bit of a disbelief and rambling, so I'm thrilled. <laughs> my husband won't let me come to a race without him, so he's my biggest support fan. <laughs> he's my biggest support crew, biggest fan, believes in me more than I believe in myself, and I couldn't do this without him, so yeah. Kona slot, that was the goal, uh, and it happened. Honestly, incredible, disbelief but good, I think it'll sink in tonight. Um, it went way better than I ever could have expected. Uh, I just kept working hard and working my way up. Um, I think my swim wasn't too strong and then my bike was a little stronger and my run is pretty good this year. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit in shock and really happy. Um, I know that I'm really fit and I'm feeling really strong and I'm, I'm healthy. So I just came here to work hard and see what I could do and it was a huge PB. My first Ironman was Mont Tremblant last year. I came eighth, um, and I, I from that race, I knew that I had a lot of work to do on the bike. So I've been biking like a bit of a crazy person all winter and uh, this spring. So I'm really happy with my bike. I know that that was a big improvement for me. When I started, when I chose to start racing pro, the reason was because I just love racing so much. So it's always fun. Like even if you're like eighth, tenth, twelfth, like it's fun to be. Um, competing with people and trying to pass people no matter what your position is. Um, I'm getting married on the same day as Kona and I know a lot of the girls here are vying for a Kona spot. I would have been too but I didn't expect to do this well so um, I just wanted her to know that the Kona spot uh, is not being taken by me unfortunately but I'll be back next year. The swim, I'm going to be entirely honest with you, I was super disappointed when I came out of the water. Um, I've been swimming really well lately and I, swimming is my weakness, but I expected it to be about an hour today. When I saw it, an hour four, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. But it, now I just learned that everybody had a slow swim, it sounds like, so that made me feel a lot better. I executed the bike kind of the way, for the most part, the way that I was supposed to. Um, so I was really happy with that. I just uh, kind of played calm on the first loop and uh, I, came out in third. Uh, Jody was right ahead of me, but she, I'm not quite sure what happened with her. Uh, I know she wasn't feeling good or something. I could see her for, oh my God, forever. And she was only like a minute to a minute and a half ahead of me. Um, <clears throat> and then I, I don't know, running uphills is not a strength of mine. So this is not a great course for that. <laughs> I totally hit a dark spot at like 22K. I'm like, this is not the right time to be getting into a dark spot. Um, that usually happens a lot later in the run. So I walked a couple of aid stations, just kind of took a really good regroup. So I knew I wasn't going to catch first or second at this point. That might be a chance that I could just kind of cruise the last part of the run now. So I gave it everything. Uh, I'm definitely feeling it now and I'm sure I'm going to be feeling it later. It's actually kind of ironic because I raced here in Lake Placid in 2018 and that was back, that was the last year it was a point system and this is the race that got me to Kona. So once again, this is the race that's getting me to Kona this year. So that's kind of fun. Um, yeah, it feels great.